Hello, I'm Monday Collective. Today, I'm going to show you how to use 2D sequence expressions in Unreal Engine. Okay, here we go. This is the mild Morales character I used for my Unreal Animation project. As you can see, this is work to be done for facial expression animation. You need to create a panel object for expression on the surface of the face object. This panel only exists for 2D expression animation. So you have to be careful to keep the panel curvature similar to the face object. And it doesn't have to be many faces, but it must be evenly spaced so that the texture doesn't break. If you have modeling and texture like this, I'll try to export this. Go to the export menu, select only the armature and the mesh, uncheck only the bake animation and export. You don't even need to press anything else. Now, let's go to Unreal. This is Unreal screen. If you are using Unreal for the first time, please follow the steps I did. This is the process of creating a level to play animation and importing character. get an error message, please ignore it. The character modeling and shaders appears like this, but they are gray in color. Please wait a little bit and it will be activated like this. Hold the character image with the pink line at the bottom. Go to the sequencer tab, hold it for a while, and then drag it to an empty space in the sequencer window to bring the character into the level. Now we are ready to animate, but there is one problem. Transparency information is lost when Blender shaders are switched to Unreal shaders. Now, please follow my steps. Double click the eye shader icon to open the shader editor window. Here, we connect the A in the image tab to the opacity of the shader. Go to the properties of the shader tab and set the blend mode to translucent. And be sure to click apply and save at the top. Transparency was applied, but there is another problem. Alpha image is not affected by light. If you like this style, you can use it as is. But I need the light effect, so let's reconnect the nodes. Connect the A in the image tab to the opacity mask of the shader. And this time, set the blend mode to mask. The alpha image is now affected by light. I love it. I used Adobe Animate to animate the eye expressions. In this way, I complete the animation by hand drawing each frame. A total of 5 facial expression animations, no matter what animation program you use. After all, the end result will be a PNG transparent sequence. Export and everything is ready. Now, please follow my steps. The reason I keep creating folders is to avoid confusion. Organization is always important. Finally, the video texture was completed. Now, drag this image tab and throw it into the character's eyes. Then the shader will be created. Finally, the shader with the sequence applied has been created. If we double click on it, we can see what the shader node window looks like. It's okay, it is normal for the color to still come out as black. Just go to the sequencer tab and follow my steps and you're done.
the 2D sequence animation has been successfully registered. Oh, there is no transparency, but we already know the solution. We have finally achieved our goal. This is how to place the facial expressions I made in the desired position. First of all, we need to do something. The sequence I created had on 24 FPS, Arnier need to be tuned as well. This is really important. Please check it out. In my case, I like to put multiple expressions in one sequence to keep things easy. In Arnier, you can put a number like this so that it reads from the frame of the sequence you want. Yes, I can make it read from the frame of the expression I want. Adjust the length with the mouse like this so that it only comes out to the desired frame. Even in the copied layer, if you specify a different sequence frame, different expressions will be applied. As you can see, the last part of the layer automatically becomes the whole frame. By arranging expression layers in this way, you can make the expression animation play in the desired position. I hope this course will be helpful for your work. Thank you for watching.